is in the books so far in this postseason, and here we go with game number three. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Picked up along the boards by Leah Bushkin. Reaches out and uses the stick. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Grabs the puck. Makes a save. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Pasternak's good at picking his spots with his snipe zone ability. When the puck is flat and settled, his shots become laser beams. Matthews can deke his way to the net and launch a quick shot before anyone can react. That's a shock in his own ability. I'm expecting one of these star players to push their team tonight. James, over to you. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Samsonov. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still no score in this one. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Here's a shot! Here's a side the slap shot! Wow! Boston's taking possession in their own end. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Makes the save! And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And he stands tall in goal. Oh, turns it aside once again. Loose puck battle along the boards. Pass across to Nylander. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Bertuzzi. Toronto's playing it from the side. Back to the goal line. Misses. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Toronto's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Blocked in front. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Here they come. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Excellent stick work on the play. Dishes it to McAvoy. And now he angles it across to Grizzly. First center along the wing. Sends it in deep. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Picked up along the wall by McAvoy. Puck picked up by Yarncro. Oh, what a save in front! How many times have we seen the save before from him, James? I mean, he loves the butterfly position. He's real mobile in his crease, and he makes the save. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. The Bruins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Taken along the wall by Martin. Passes on front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Oh, Starting to get on their feet to recognize 
Jones, what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you, because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Leafs are getting two minutes for tripping. Not a lot of time to work, but they still have a five-on-three. Well, a short five-on-three here, but you still have a time to strike, not even once, but possibly twice. You gotta get it on your stick, drive it through the net. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Keeps possession. Quick feed to Brody. Tavares has served his time in the box, but to remain short-handed. And it's a quick pass to Shattenkirk. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And they get that puck down the ice. Here's a short pass to Shattenkirk. Handles the puck from the left side. And he's knocked off the puck there. Moves it to Tavares. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gun. Gains the zone on the left wing. Fires it! Just got enough of it. Ten seconds left. Marchand's gained the line and on the attack. Boston's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Denied that one. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up. But you can have all the possession time in the world. But if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. Makes the play stop. I really like this. Scores! The game is played at such a high rate of speed, James, that you have to make decisions quickly, but there's a lack of coverage and a huge defensive miscue that leads to this goal. Toronto's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. Here they already lead in this one, and they've been dictating the pace of play also. Well, they get the game's first goal midway through the period, James, but I liked their game right from puck drop. I mean, the way that they've started, the urgency around the puck, they've hounded it, they've had a heavy forecheck, and now they get rewarded for their efforts. And he handles a cross-ice pass. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. His first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Nice job tying up his opponent. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick pass to Nylander. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone, everything now is on the line. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Toronto's taken a one-goal lead here in this opening stance, and... How does this now change the complexity? Uh, I think the coach wants to manipulate their bench now that they have dictated pace, James. But if you're an elite athlete, you're always pushing for more. One certainly isn't enough. You don't have enough runway to sit back and say, hey, we're going to coast this one in. 
Well past the midway mark of this period, Toronto's got a one-goal lead. The Leafs win the draw here in the neutral zone. Here's the puck. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get it. Score! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Works it across to Domi. Toronto's looking to break out. And he takes the pass. Oh, it's denied by Swingin'. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. takes a shot, and he makes the save. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Toronto's moving it up the ice. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Receives the pass. And that's a great heads-up play by Kent. From the point, they take control of it. Camp's going to play the puck behind the cage. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, you don't see that. And it hits both posts on the play. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Frederick's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Off here just moments away. It's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setting. Puzzle front, and it's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Riley. And that's poked away by Matthews. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Stretch pass. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They're able to retrieve the puck and fire it down the ice. Makes no mistake on the clear, James. Hard and heavy on the stick. He grabs the puck here at the point. Matthews looks around. Now a quick pass to Riley. Cuts it across the blue line. Puts it on net for the point. No room for that one to get through. And he jumps out of the sin bin. We are back to even strength. Solid effort by the penalty killing unit here. That's a great job by this PK unit, James. Creating some momentum for their team and getting out of it without getting scored on. And this is critical given that it's a tie game. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Steps into the offensive end. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Matthews. There's a back hand. Oh, it stays out as it goes off the inside of the post. Toronto's been on the wrong side of the hockey gods tonight, James. How many have they shot off the post? From the left side, takes it at center. Tosses the puck loose. Toronto's on the attack. There's a shot. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Here in the late going of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Toronto's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. 
Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Corrado's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, it gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Sweeman. Kennedy coming up here. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here. James, a tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Handles the pass. Handles the puck at the point. Corrado's got a hold of the puck now. Quick feed to Marchand. Oh, cuts it off the arm. Not the side of the net, but doesn't go. With a chance to go ahead and a huge opportunity right there. It's going to go off of the pipe and out. Dumps it into the ozone. The Bruins gain possession. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. To his teammate! And he slides it quickly to Domi. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gains the zone along the right wall. Here's a chance! More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Bruins can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, when you get the nod to hit, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time, and all these players are heading back to the bench, and they're deflated. The Leafs have it now. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hat Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena will pick up the official Team Hat. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. You can tell you're in for a good one because almost every fan is in their seats here as we are still tied with the second getting underway. Handles the puck. Marner's taking it from his own end. And he loses control of the puck. And he takes the feed. Here's a shot. Turns it aside with a glove. I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Leafs will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And the puck leaves the zone. Tries to feed it over to Marner. Oh, great read on the play. Slides it across. Moves it over to Marner. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Takes a shot. There's a great glove save by Sweeman. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the three square of the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Toronto's gained the line and into the zone. Scooped up along the wall by DeBrusque. Across the line from center. Sends the feed in front. And that's intercepted. Now he takes it over the line. He got all of that hit on the play. Hooked away by Wilgren. Moves it over to Bertuzzi. Here's a short pass to Brody. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he passes up to Van Riemsdyk. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. And he can't hang on after that hit. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Moves it to Nylander. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. Sends the pass in front. Picked off in front. 
streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Good pass to Tavares. Dismissed that chance. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across his crease. He makes the save. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Heinen. Boston's got it along the wall. Big time stop! Gets a blocker on it. Takes the feet at the back end. Taken here by Shattenkirk. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. Tavares has won the draw inside his own end. Takes it right in the chest. The centermen glide into position. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. And he makes that save as well. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. And they win the draw here in their own end. Boston's got the puck along the boards. Shot! And the puck dies with the trapper save. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Tries to get it to Reeves. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, it's a Morrison with the paddle save. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Hopeless stick handling in his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Laupo. And he takes the feed. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Moves it quickly over. Scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Well, he gets all of this one time, or doesn't he, James? I mean, his one leg is almost on the ground as he bears down and lets it rip. Toronto's push here in the second is paying off as they now lead by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Takes the feed from the left side. The Leafs looking against the half wall. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with him. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Samsonov's going to hang on for a whistle. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Leafs are looking to build on this one goal lead. Toronto's won the draw. And he hangs on to the puck. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Slides the puck across to Pasternak. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Slick feed. Off a stick and they can't connect. The Leafs have it now. Great forecheck by Tavares. McAvoy's got a hole of the puck behind the net. Lays the body into that play. Shot! Oh, and it gets in front of that can make a great save. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Boston's won it, now they'll go on the attack. There's the whistle, let's see what the referee saw. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what, it's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead, now they're protecting it. Boston's got another opportunity. 
opportunity here on the man advantage. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Here he comes, in on the breakaway! And that's broken up! Oh, James, he thought he had that one. He used his speed to get that breakaway. And then all of a sudden, the defender comes out of nowhere and stops the opportunity. Great play. Toronto's through center right now in the offensive end. The Bruins have it against the wall. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Takes the feed from the left side. Pushes it across to Matthews. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. They go on the attack from the left side. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Leafs win the draw. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. The Leafs maintain that one goal lead thanks to a solid effort by the penalty killers. Well, they're going to continue to trail here because they weren't able to get the equalizer on the power play. A missed opportunity and really timing is everything. So they'll have to figure out a way to dictate pace and get back on the board. Matthews wins the draw inside his defensive zone. Odd man rush. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Quick feed to Saka. The Bruins play it along the boards. Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even. Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame, it's all tied up. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Sends it to the middle. Only comes up with a stop. Here's a short pass to Riley. Oh, what a glove save! Did he ever grab that one? Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. And they take possession here in the offensive zone in time to go on the attack. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Sends it out front. Moves it again. And that's stopped. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Leafs come up with the defensive zone draw. Fires away! Oh, read it perfectly. What a save. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Leah Bushkin's got it in the offensive zone. Boston's got the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Puck scooped up by Domi. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Boston's got possession of the puck. And that's offside, stopping the play. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Coyle's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Shuts it down with the paddle, what a stop. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. 
The Bruins pick up steam and are on the attack. And that's blocked in traffic. Extra attacker up to apply the pressure with the goaltender at the bench. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Cheryl, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, and they got to be expecting to get one soon here as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep parading yourself to the box. Another scoring opportunity looms here. And the power play has not been good tonight, but it's not about what happened or what's going to happen. It is about right now and finding a way to create some momentum on this one. Knocked away by Kemp. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. And he keeps possession. The Bruins cross the line and gain the zone. And that's intercepted by Marner. Moves around along the half wall. Moves it to Shattenkirk. Boston's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Marchand. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Turns it away. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Sends it over. Oh, what a save on the play. Yeah. Oh, that's Grant Larson, e. James. I mean, he just stole it. Scores! A power play goal puts them in front. Well, and this was a huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were urgent on the puck, but they also showed poise and patience. Oh, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out-battle, you got to out-will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. Boston's gone up by one here late in period number two. Now to see if they can build on this when they get to the third. Well, that one to pounce right off this face-off, James. They've had a ton of urgency in the flat last few shifts, and they found a way to get the go-ahead goal here. They're going to need to really work hard to hold the lead because you know that their opponent, they're going to have a bit of urgency here. Dumps it in. Puck moved over to Marchand. Solid check to slow him down. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Oh, misses the net. What a chance that would have been. Oh, he wants that one back, and he tried to get all of it, and guess what suffered? Accuracy. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Getting into the later stages of this period. The Bruins are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Possession here in their own end. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. DeBrus running and gunning tonight, James. He got the goal. Trying to gain a step. Denies him on the breakaway. What a steal in his own end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Levels him with the hit. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. Sends it out in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Jody's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the official's call. The Bruins have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob's. When the home team wins, bring your tickets to any Rob's Sporting Goods for a coupon good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game.
Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. The Bruins penalty killers get off to a good start, winning possession here. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Martin. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are in a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Quick shot! to read and anticipate the play, and when he drops into that butterfly position, not only is he as big as possible and covers the top half, but he's agile enough to slide across to cover the lower half. Zaka's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Frederick's got it in the defensive end. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. McAvoy's penalty is almost expired. Tremendous stop by Sweden. Boston's penalty killers deliver a huge effort to keep that one goal lead intact. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Still plenty of time left in this frame. This one has been a good back and forth contest. We're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game. Here's a shot. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. And he slides it quickly to DeBrus. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. The Leafs have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. From the open ice, they gain the line. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Takes it across the blue line. And offside will get a reset here. Marner's got that zone ability that could help him generate some chances, guys. With the team trailing here, let's look to him to try to make a difference for them. The Leafs win the draw here in the neutral zone. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Centering feed! And he denies that great opportunity there. Boston's put a lot of shots on net here, and they lead it as a result early in this third period. Matthews won the draw, and he'll start off on the attack. Wotherspoon's moving the puck through his own zone. Keeps possession on the play. Came up with a nice save. Quick feed to Lucas. Sends the pass over. Covers it on net. Great read on the block. Over the line they come. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. James in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Brody's got the puck along the wing. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Lindgren. Brody's got the puck in his own zone. Shot! Oh, and he puts it wide of the net. Ron, this is a near miss, James. You're trying to be accurate. You know how good the goaltenders are, and you just missed by a few inches. 
Back to the point it goes. And that goes off course off a body. Great hit on the play. The Bruins fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it, James. And that's another effective PK. You don't get much better than that. And it's all about read and reacting. They did an excellent job. Quick feed down low. Can't get it to go. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Throws it in. Quick pass across to Kiki. Picked up along the wall by Marchand. And he takes the dish. Here's a short pass to Pasternak. Takes the pass. Moves it to Pasternak. Samsonov's got the puck, and he's going to hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Boston's clinging to this 4-3 lead. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Marner's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Tough save. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Bruins have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Taken by Brasso. Quick pass to Marner. Gets the puck over to Matthews. Quick feed to McCabe. Break away! and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to and the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. Matthews takes possession after that center ice face-off. Directs it on over to Benoit. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. the midway mark in this period. We got a tie game. And off the faceoff, they take possession. Into the offensive zone. And it's a quick pass to McAvoy. Puck battle along the boards. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Hard blast! Gets a piece of it with the... defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. They pass ahead. Hammers one. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And Sodov's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. The Leafs start with the puck in the right end. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Taken along the wall by Yurto. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Sweeman. Loses his balance on the play. Now a quick pass to DeBrusque. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Takes a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Angles it over to Tavares. And that's hooked away by Carlo. Toronto's got it now. Leah bushkin has been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Bruins don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Send their man advantage unit out once more. 
They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Hammers it on net, just wide. James, you know in practice when you do target shooting? Guess why? So you hit the net. I think he's got to get back to it and work on it. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Trying to dump it out. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Gets in front of the shot. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Carlos hauled down. Penalty on the way. And the puck's put it away. Moves it quickly over to Weatherspoon. The Bruins carry it along the wall. And the puck stopper takes his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Here comes the call for the official. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. Well, the power play has been lackluster, but the opportunity, another one to turn it around is right now. The big players have to put what happened behind them and just move forward. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Marner. The Bruins will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. A great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. Pass to Van Riemsdyk. Takes the pass from the left wing. Shot to the horizon. Sends a pass over. Toronto's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Here's a short pass to Matthews. Answered the call there. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Great hook by Cole. And he coughs it up with the pass. Pinned up along the boards. Ten seconds left. Nylander's almost out of the box. Lost its opportunity to take advantage of the game is completely squandered as they fail to capitalize with a man advantage here. Frustrating here for the group that went out there, James, on this power play. A critical time of the game, an opportunity to score, and you don't do it. Real deflating. Puck sent over to Pasternak. Poked away in the offensive end. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. That'll create some separation. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Oh, he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the final, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Geeky's going to play it against the half wall. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Bruins have it in the offensive end. Denies it in front. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Tavares wins the faceoff. Moves it to Yarncroft. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Rocks him on the play. Quick pass to McAvoy. Shot. Long side save. Looks to set up at the point now. The Bruins gain possession. Takes a shot. Oh, what a blocker start by Samsonov. Carlin Bade, who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup of the Stars? Matthews wanted to have a strong game, and he came out here and delivered. I think he's been the standout player in this one, guys. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck over. The Leafs take it along the wall. Pass back to the point. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, uh, you knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it off perfectly. Takes the feed. This has been a barn burner tonight as the horn sounds and we are going to overtime.
time. If you thought this was dramatic, you ain't seen nothing yet. Stay with us. Just moments away from overtime. All right, get your sudden death OT pools going. Get your social media predictions. Overtime is underway, people. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Puck grabbed by Leah Bushkin. And he slides it quickly to Marner. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Puck is frozen and will get a face-off. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Coils, quick stick off the draw, wins possession. And he passes it up ahead to Marchand. Tries to get it over to Pasternak. 
Into the offensive end now. And they keep the pressure on. Moves it to the offensive zone. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Riley. Quick feed to Domi. Takes that pass back at the point. Stops him cold. Scooped up along the wall by McAvoy. Moves it quickly over to Van Riemsdyk. The Leafs still hold of the puck in their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. And the defenders come up with the puck. Takes the feed. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. The Bruins played along the wing. The Leafs have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Van Riemsdyk. Grabs control of it on the court. Oh, a reactionary save! Takes it across the blue line. Moves the pass in front. Picked off in front. Here he is with the backhander. Big time stop. That's a great save as he drops into the butterfly. You want to make sure that you take away the top of the net, but you know you got the lower net covered and the agility to be able to stop. Sports.